The joy of children at a five-year orphanage home in Ijoko, Ogun State, knows no bound when the Tina Ikea Peters Foundation visited them to show love and extend hands of benevolence to its residents who are majorly physically challenged people. I love you. I need you too. The foundation was founded in memory of the late icon, Miss Tina Ikea Peters, who transited to glory in 2023. During their visitation, they came along with lots of gift items as a way of reaching out to the less privileged in the society. <laughs> Their coming to the Favid orphanage home was timely. The Tina Ikea Peters Foundation um, was better for the profound love and enjoying legacy of my mom, late Mrs. Tina Ikea Peters. Today we are gathered here today to, to reflect on mom's memory of love and compassion and to commemorate her one year remembrance. Though she's no longer with, here, with us here today, but she will always be remembered. My mom was a mother to all. She was one who was always ready to lend a helping hand. Mom was someone that um, would always see the beauty in everyone, regardless of whoever she meets. Um, we, her unwavering passion for humanity was second to none. The values that she has instilled in us is the reason why we have the Tina Capitals Foundation today. And we believe that through this foundation, we'll be able to spread her, uh, a message of love and compassion and also to touch lives just as the way she would have done while she was on earth. So we are grateful that we are here today, not just to, to commemorate her one year remembrance and also to spread her message of love and act of service. The president and founder of the orphanage home, Reverend Okun Usuyak, spoke about how much they appreciated the Tina Ikea Peters Foundation for the show of love and support given to them. The significance is that without Tina Ike Peters coming to visit us. Definitely he would have died of hunger. And God would not allow that to happen. That is why he has to inspire young people, able young people, to come all the way from his solo, passing through many, many uh, local government, you know, to come and visit us here. So uh, definitely the foundation has done a lot and what they have given to us. I'm telling you, within the next one month, we shall still be enjoying what they have come with. The foundation had great fun with the children of the orphanage as they sang and danced to make them happy. So if you are happy and you know, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know, lift your hands. If you are happy and you know, lift your hands. If you are happy and you know, and you really want to show. If you are happy and you know, lift your hands. They presented the gift items to the children, after which Pastor Emmanuel Okon blessed the gifts and prayed for the foundation that brought them. And to show care, we pray that all the days of your life you will always find love. Speaking after the presentation, Reverend Okon told Claire TV why he decided to set up an orphanage home for the disabled 28 years ago. He spoke about many challenges he faced while running the orphanage home. He seeks government intervention for those running orphanage home in the country as they always need support to thrive. The government has been organizing us at least three times in a year to educate us, organize seminars on how the children can be taken care of. Yes, but they can still do more. They can still do more by contributing financially. Um, so far, we've not seen financial contribution from the government apart from 2019 when some rice were given to us. Uh, it wasn't only five, it, all the NGOs in Nigeria, rice was given to. So, um, government need to live up to expectation. While giving remarks about how the day's visitation went, volunteers from the foundation advised the general public on the need to always come around to show love to the less privileged. <laughs>
inception when it started we first of all started with um, the first project which was project feed 100 um, we actually also which also betted this same this other project and we are believing that there's st still going to bet for that project because we have it in mind to also have reasons to um, visit schools um, share school supplies we also have it in mind to have seminars um, outreaches and at the same time too we intend to collaborate with all that other other foundations too we are open to partnership as well as other things too I think it's a privilege that we were able to come here today to give uh, something to them to reach out to them to show them love you could see the other time when we were singing they were so happy they were rejoicing shaking their hands like this and I believe that uh, this experience does not come every day but people should uh, make this thing a, a place of contact or a point of contact that they should always come around and show these people love because we all need love in our lives. Even people that are complete need, they need love. How much more people that are less privileged? This happens to be our second humanitarian project so far. The first we had was in August when we happened to mark my mom's post mom's birthday. Also, aside from this foundation, reaching out to the orphanage home, we also believe to reach out to more orphanage home and also to reach out to undeserving communities um, just be, not just beyond the current scope. We believe that every child is special. We believe that um, every child should deserve love, every child deserves compassion, every child deserves kindness. We believe that through this medium we will be able to not just um, promote um, the, the issues of inclusion. We also want to break down barriers. We also want to promote empathy, not just within the orphanage home here, but far and wide. Miss Uche Ikea was impressed with the outcome of the visitation. She viewed out the many plans of the foundation aimed at touching more lives positively in the society.